Torch here. Today, I'm gonna to go over some basic techniques using the Tonfa. So it could be one that you created or perhaps one that you purchased, but you're gonna need a Tonfa today, one single Tonfa. And we're just gonna work on some basic techniques, as I said earlier. So we're gonna do everything from a horseback stance. So I'm gonna put the Tonfa in my right hand. And when I say standard grip, that is gonna be this way. So I'm gonna be holding it in my right hand with the top along and under my arm. So we're gonna start in this position for everything that we do here. Okay, so from this position, all we're gonna do first is a high block. So we're coming underneath and high block over top. What we wanna use is we wanna make sure that the tonfa is above our head here so that we'd be blocking with this and using that to our advantage. So from here, coming up, high block. Let's do a couple with a key up, ready. Again, hop. Again, hop. One more, hop. Okay, pretty basic. Let's move on to low block, Hadamaki. So same idea, we're gonna to wanna to use this edge to our advantage. So we're gonna come in, low block position, and come down, just like that. One more time, just like this. So let's do it together four times, ready? Make sure that that's along your outside arm edge. That way you'd be blocking with it. Okay, next one we'll do is an outside to inside block. So, Paki so Maki, I'm gonna bring the knob end of my tonfa up to my ear. I'm gonna point my other hand this way, and I'm gonna come across and twist my arm so that I'd be blocking with that tonfa edge as I go from outside to inside. One more time from here, blocking outside to inside. Here we go, one. Two, hop. Three, hop. Four, hop. Okay, our inside outside block is going to feel a little bit different because we want to try to use this edge whenever we can. So on this one, I'm going to cross my arms, and when I go to do the block, I'm going to leave my palm facing outwards rather than how I would do it normally. So it's going to be this way. That way, I can use the edge of the tonfa. So I'm here, blocking across. Ready? One, hop, two, hop, three, hop, four, hop. Okay, from here we'll do a punch, and we're gonna use this knob end to concentrate our strike. So I'm coming in this way, and I'm gonna punch. This is along my outside arm, just like that. Let's punch, here we go, hop. more, hop. Okay, from this position, we're gonna do an outside to inside strike. And this is the first time we're gonna go into an extended position and into a spin. So in order to spin the tonfa, you need to actually relax your grip a little bit and then grip hard again to use it as a break. So I'm here, I'm gonna turn my palm to the inside I'm gonna relax my grip slightly, and I'm gonna swing so that the long end of the tonfa comes this way. So what's gonna happen is I'm here, and it comes across, my other hand's up to protect me. So from my punch, relax my grip, swing it out this way. I'd be striking to the ribs. So here, striking. And when you want it to stop, squeeze tight again, and that's gonna make it stop spinning. So I get to this position. So let's try that four times. One, hop. Two, hop. Three, hop. Four, hop. Okay, let's go right from here. We're gonna go inside to out this time. So again, I'm gonna relax my grip. I'm gonna come across this way and let the extension come out and then squeeze to get to here. So when I'm here, relax my grip, swing across, and then grip tightly again. Let's do it four times. One, hop. Two, hop. Three, hop. Four, hop. Okay, now from this position, we are gonna do a flip of the tonfa. So the way it's gonna work 
is I'm going to punch it out, and then I'm going to extend it out in front. So I did a punch. I'm going to extend it out in front. So now I have it extended and towards the front. I'm going to release here and let the long end come towards me and catch it in this position. So from here, it's easier a little bit if you do this punch as a vertical punch. So turn your palm out, punch this way. Extend out, and then we're going to flip by bringing this tip up this way. Be careful. You don't want to throw it up in the air like kind of do like this. You want to keep it in contact with your hand and just roll it across to this position. Now I have this end to strike with. I could be striking towards the head, towards the knees, towards the ribs, all sorts of things like that. So let's try that four times. Flip. Ready? One, two, three, and four. Good. Okay. Now the last part is going to be getting back to the beginning. So what I'm going to do to get back to the beginning is I'm going to turn it so that the handle side is out towards my right. And I'm just going to let go slightly and let it drop back into my initial position. So I was like this, turn my palm out, let it drop right back in. And then we put it all together. So we're going to do the entire drill like we just did. So first is high block, then we go to low block. Outside, inside block, inside, outside block, punch, then we're going to go outside to inside strike, inside to outside strike, vertical punch, extend out, flip, and catch, just like that. So that gives us a good way to practice our flow and handling the tonfa. Let's do it again. High block, low block, outside in, inside out, punch, outside to in strike, inside to out strike, vertical punch, extend out, flip, and catch. Just like that. All right, so I recommend you practice those drills until you're really smooth and you can do it really quickly, one right to the next, and then you'll be ready to move on to some more advanced techniques. Hope you had fun with it. Tung Sue.